Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to upload to a print-on-demand company, specifically Ingram Spark. So if that sounds good to you, then keep on watching. So I don't have a lot of experience with Ingram Spark. I just did my second upload as you're about to see. The first upload was my book companion journal. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a different video, so stay tuned for that. But more specifically, this is how to upload my novel. As many of you know, my novel Between Us is releasing in March and I really wanted to uh, get that novel uploaded on Ingram Spark because my hope is to get the book into retailers and that is the way to do it. If you want your book in retailers, you have to go through a company like Ingram Spark because your book has to be returnable. That is like the main thing. And you don't have that option with Amazon KDP. You only have it through companies like Ingram Spark. So in today's video, I'm just gonna run through a really quick upload on how to just upload to Ingram Spark. Uh, even if you don't have your novel completed. For example, my novel is not fully done. Uh, well, it's done, but it's in the editor's hand. One last round of edits. And so I uploaded everything except that final piece. And that way, if you guys are as close as I am to uploading your book uh, or to releasing your book and you want to get the ball rolling, then this is a great tutorial for you because it teaches you how to do it up until that moment. Right now, let's hop on to the tutorial to show you how to upload upload to a print-on-demand company, specifically Ingram Spark. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Ingram Spark and you're going to create an account. Then you can go here to the left and you can add a title as we're doing here. They offer different options, print, ebook, or print and ebook. So um, for this purpose, I'm only gonna show you how to do the print because that is all that I am actually using Ingram Spark for. So the title for my book is here. You're gonna add your title, you're going to add your language, and you're going to include a short description of your novel. You're gonna then move on to keywords, as you can see here on keywords, they uh, allow you to use seven keywords and you may also use them as phrases or just words that give you up to 250 characters. And um, these are important things because they basically let the reader find you based off these keywords that you insert here. So I already had a list of keywords and that's what I included here. You need to separate them by semicolon, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm going back in and separating them with a semicolon instead of a uh, comma, as I had previously. Next, we're moving on to the series name or number. If you have a series name, this is where you would insert it, and the number. This is not a series for me. It's a standalone, so I won't be putting it in here, anything. And also, the addition description is if you've you know, um, if you did release one and now you've changed a lot of it, like you've done major edits or major, major changes to your story, this is where you would enter the edition number, which would be two or three or however many times you've revised the novel. Then in here, you're going to insert your full description. This is where the summary, the back cover of your book goes. The next section is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to insert your name, the author's name, and any, if there's more than one author, you would also include it there. Next, you're going to include the imprint, and this is basically your name, or you can, if you have a company name, you can insert it there. Next, you're going to um, include this section right here. This is good for your potential buyers and retailers and distributors to be able to find your book. You wanna make sure that it's uh, labeled correctly. Think of it as almost as, um, uh, in the bookstore when you go and there's different sections and you're like you wanted to find fiction or thriller or, or mystery this is exactly what that is only in digital form so this is where you're going to select all your categories to make sure that in the digital form and even in person that booksellers know exactly where to put your book at the next section is this uh Thema subjects, and this is basically almost the same thing, but more for international use. So you're going to go in here and 
do the same thing, find the subject matter that best um, correlates with your book. And you're going to just find the best uh, categories that fit your book and go from there. The next section we're going to move to is audience. This is where you select your audience. Mine is adult, so that is what I'm going to select. Here would be the table of contents. Novels usually don't have table of contents. And here you would include review quotes if you have any quotes that you would like to include in your novel. This section is asking you if you have pictures. I do not, so I selected no. The next section we're moving on to is trim size. I'm assuming you have already uh, designed your cover and you format it so you know exactly what size your book is. And then here's where you select the proper size to make sure that when the book prints, it prints properly. The next section is the interior color, which is black and white. Page colors will be cream. Binding type will be paperback. Laminating type will be matte. And the page count is 350. Next, we're moving on to selecting an ISBN. They give you different options here. For the longest time, I thought I needed to have my own ISBN number to select, uh, to be able to upload to Ingram Spark. But as you can see here, that is not the case. So once you do select that you want them to give you an ISBN, a little window like this will pop up saying they're giving you a free, but essentially what that means is that they are becoming the publisher of your book. Once you agree, they will give you an ISBN number, but just as a side note, you need to go back into your manuscript and insert this ISBN number in your manuscript. Now we're moving on to selecting the price of your book, and this is where you will give your wholesale discount to stores like, let's say, Barnes & Noble. You will select 55% wholesale otherwise they won't order your books as far as i know next you need to select the date of release of your book whether it's in the past or it's in the future this is where you do it uh, and you need to make sure that you include that yes they are returnable otherwise they won't accept your book when you select that copy united states uh, pricing to all international prices it will copy what you wrote all the way down and that same discount will apply to all international stores. This window popping up is just letting me know that my release date is in the future and of course that's perfectly okay because I'm aware of that. Next you're going to move on to uploading your cover and your manuscript. My manuscript is not completely done so I will not be uploading my manuscript yet but I will be uploading my cover and basically that is it. Now if the book it will be on hold until I receive my manuscript from the editor. And once I upload everything, the book will be ready to go. So if you had uploaded your manuscript, you would be able to hit continue. But since I didn't, I can't hit continue. So a little message pops up letting me know that basically I haven't uploaded anything. And here it tells me once I go through all the steps, then I can hit continue and move forward. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go back to basically all my titles. And I will see there that my title is just waiting to get approved. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember to share it with all your writerly friends and remember to subscribe. Also, remember that I have a video coming up comparing um, the two covers, one uploaded through KDP, one uploaded through Ingram Spark, my book companion journal, and it might surprise you what I find. So make sure that you stay tuned to my channel. Remember to hit that little bell to get notified when I upload because I think the review of these two books will surprise you. So until next time, you guys stay safe.